tonight. I'm now joined by Philip Poole. He's global head of macro and investment strategy. Philip, thank you so much for joining us. Now, it, it does seem that, you know, the successor mm -hmm. of Lula wants to keep with what he's done and keep his policies in place. But there seems to be some concern that actually we may see a more protectionist Brazilian government. We saw it with Petrobras. I mean, are you concerned that whoever succeeds him will go a little bit more to the left? Not really, no. I think actually if we look at uh, Dilma, who's still the leading contender to, to win uh, on the second round, uh, I think that's continuity. There is a risk, I think, at the margin that we'll see some slippage in fiscal policy. Uh, Sarah, uh, if he were to win, I think that also would be a decent outcome. Probably more reform, but maybe a little bit more intervention from, from a monetary policy perspective. So I think irrespective of who wins, um, the pillars of stability, if you like, it, will remain in place. Is Brazil going to be even stronger than India? I mean, you, you kind of have, you know, half the analysts or investors saying Brazil is the big new hot thing, and the other saying, well, you know, you still have quite a lot of inequalities, and it's just not as growing as much as China or India. Well, it's grow growing more rapidly than it has for 20 years. I mean, that's the thing to bear in mind. Uh, economic growth this year, 7%, 7 maybe more than 7%. Um, there's no doubt that inequality is still an issue, but it's an issue in India, it's an issue in China. So I think that's one of the concerns in emerging markets that have, have to be dealt with more generally. It's not specific to Brazil. Uh, the Brazil story, I think, remains very strong. Growth is strong and, and, and inflation is also moderated, actually. Uh, Philip, but looking by the end of the week, we actually have the IMF in Washington. And yeah. there's a little bit of concern that we're going to see some kind of currency wars because yeah. a lot of the trading partners want to devalue or intervene sure. in their currencies. How concerned are you by this? Is it real concern? Well, certainly, I think this is one of the issues for Brazil in the in the period uh, through to the end of, of the month now, when we have the second round. Um, I think that the the strength of the the, the REI will be an issue. It's become an issue already. Uh, it's an issue that generally, as you mentioned, for emerging markets. And I think uh, we may well see more uh, capital controls put in place. Brazil's already uh, put in place a tax uh, just about a year ago. In fact, we may see additional measures coming through from other countries as well. What concerns you the most in terms of this, this you know, currency trade or the guys that are going to lose the most? Because it seems that all the problems of the G20 and G8 has been bank recapitalization. It's been problems of the West, and we haven't really addressed trade, have we? Well, I think the issue really is that we've got very loose monetary policy in, in, in G3. Um, if you look for yield, if you look for return, the answer is emerging markets. So the money is basically flooding across, and, and that's been the concern. Currencies have been un under upward pressure, and obviously, with still concerns about global growth, uh, um, central banks and governments have been keen to try to prevent that, 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 that currency uh, uh, upside. Now, Philip, we're speaking to the Thai Prime Minister around six minutes from now. What would you ask him? What is your, your prospects for the country? Well, I think that's one of the issues really for, for Thailand, the uh, exchange rate policy. Uh, I think we need to see investment. Um, there's been, a, I think, a concern about, uh, about infrastructure uh, and the need for, for, for investment to sustain longer term growth. Um, and of course, there's always the issue in Thailand about political stability. Social unrest. Are you expecting more uh, riots or more attacks? Not particularly, no. But I think the issue there is still is always that the, the, the you know the market I think will uh, con continue to look uh, at those risks. Philip, your biggest fear for this year? Biggest fear for this year in the, in the run up to, to the end of the year. Um, I think there's a, a concern still about a, a, an overhang, about a double dip in the U.S. Um, to my way of thinking, though, inflation is also a risk in emerging markets. I think we need to watch that carefully. Philip, thank you so much. Philip Poole there. Thank you.